for somebody who's interested in starting out in doing webinars and, and start to make money from it, how, what would be the best way to get started? Is there a certain thing they need to do first or a place to go or software involved or anything like that? Yeah, uh, the first thing that you need to do is choose what kind of platform you want to run from. Now, there's two options really that you can do with webinars. And uh, just let me say now, some people call them online seminars, some people call them virtual seminars, some people call them webinars. Whatever you call them, it doesn't really matter. It's just basically a presentation that's done over the internet. Um, and in fact, we put a lot of our webinars onto YouTube now. And uh, they're just like YouTube videos, okay? So it's just great information over the top of uh, some visual. Now, we all know that people learn better from visuals. Um, and uh, essentially, that's, that's what you want to use. You know, people learn from visual, from audio, uh, from kinesthetic, from, uh, you know, that, as opposed to just listening or just reading something. So, you know, we're engaging more of the people's senses, which as we know now in studies, actually proves that uh, a lot of, large percentage of the population prefers to learn that way. In fact, Stuart, if I can, just before I answer that other question, just say this before I forget that I've been <laughs> surveying audiences all over the world. I speak in front of 300 to 500 to 1,000 people at a time, and I always ask one question. I said, if you had some information that you were, you were interested in, in a specific topic, would you prefer to read a book or would you prefer to watch a DVD? on the topic or, or listen to the audio version and uh, up to 90% of the audience okay, uh, always prefers to watch the visual and the audio uh, version as opposed to reading and um, it just goes to show, I tell the audience straight away, uh, never has it been never has it been more than 40% prefer to read. So 40% maximum prefer to read, but as much as, uh, you know, 98% uh, I think even in uh, Malaysia recently, 98% of the audience prefer to watch video and listen to audio. So I always tell people, how do you think you should be delivering your message? You know, if, if this many percentage want to learn that way, then you should be delivering that way. And, and I'm not biased to anyone. Like, I've got books and I, I like listen to audio and watch video. And some subjects I like to read and some subjects I like to watch video and audio. But what I tell businesses is you can instantly, virtually double your bottom line by just adding both mediums. So if you've got a book right now, if you've got a book that you sell for 27 or 37 $47, however much you sell your book for, if you can turn that into a, a, a series of webinars which you can record one time and put them online, you can charge up to $197 or more for those videos. So not only will the, uh, the videos sell for more, nearly 10 times more than your book, uh, but the, uh, the, you will absolutely grab a whole large another part of the market just by offering that. And in most cases, what will happen is people who purchase your book okay, will end up buying the DVD series or the video series that's online. Okay? And that can be a series of webinars or vice versa. People who buy your webinar series will get a copy of the book as well. So you can make 10 times as much money from webinars by increasing value of, uh, of what you're giving as well as automating it. And uh, you can also reach and uh, get your information out there because you don't want people to buy your information in a book and then never read it. I mean, that's, that's good because you made money, but at the end of the day, we want repeat business because 80% of uh, revenue comes from 20% of your customers, and, and that's true on the Internet as well. So uh, the first platform that you need to make all this miracle happen is, uh, is a, a system. If you're going to run live webinars, you use GoToWebinar, and that's you know for as little as $99 a month, you can run as many webinars on as many topics as you want. That's what I've used for the last three years, and I use it every week. It's fantastic. They've got great support. They're a, they're a publicly listed company. Citrix is, uh, is playing a leading edge role in the, uh, the communications online, in the, uh, the, the cloud computing, and the way uh, businesses are going to do business. Uh, Citrix is a huge company, and, and they've set up a great uh, system called GoToWebinar. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're broke and you don't have any money, then try a system called AnyMeeting. I think that's free up to a certain number of users. I tried it, couldn't figure it out, but, um, you know, uh, you could, you, that's an option for you there if, you're, uh, if you've got no money. But what I prefer to do these days, Stuart, is do automated webinars so I don't have to be there physically. So an automated webinar is I can record it with my computer using some uh, desktop screen recording software. Oh, okay. um, and, uh, and, and then just put it into an automated webinar software and uh, basically just play it at a certain time. I don't even have to be there. And that's, 
that's the best business model right now, automated webinars. And uh, we've been doing it for three years now, and finally the world has caught up and uh, everyone's talking about it. That's, that's all right. So really it comes down to personal preference and finance, but however the customer will get the interaction by either using either platform and $99 doesn't sound too much. I guess if you, you know, if you can have as many people as you want online, are you limited to the amount of people who can actually attend one of these webinars using the software? Well, with an automated webinar, no, you can basically have as many people as you want because essentially it's just a video that plays at a certain time. Um, so that's not a problem. With the GoToWebinar system, they have different plans. Um, they've got a plan, I think, for $99, you can have up to 100 visitors to your webinar at a time. Okay. So yeah. uh, what will happen is if you send out an invitation to your database of maybe, let's say, for example, you've got 500 people on your database and you email them. Okay. And let's say uh, 200 people register for the webinar. Now, GoToWebinar will let you capture more than, more than 100 names, but the first 100 people to the webinar when it starts will get in, and anyone after 100 will say, sorry, the webinar is full. Oh, now, okay. I don't know about you, but whenever we would find out that a rock concert was sold out, that was when we actually wanted to get tickets because the best social proof that, uh, that somebody is doing the right thing is when everyone else is going the same way and your market will love you if you can send the replay the next day and say, hey guys, I'm sorry if you didn't get into the webinar last night, we had over 100 people, it was chock-a-block, we couldn't fit in, we couldn't fit anyone else in, but here's the webinar replay right now or we're going to run it again, check it out, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I gather that it gives the impression of um, that you know what you know. The information you're providing is worthwhile listening to because I don't know if I went to watch something and you found out that you missed out on the on the seat. You know, it must be must you know the information must be top quality. I gather it gives that impression as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The uh, yeah, it, it, it's a hundred percent. Um, how long would it take somebody to become proficient in um, using webinars? You know, is is it something you can pick up very easy, or do you need some sort of training? In, is that training involved? Yeah, look, webinars is very easy to run. It's it's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's a very simple system. Uh, automated webinars will be a little bit trickier for someone who hasn't done it because you've got to put a few of the elements together. Uh, but like I said, if, for the sake of automation and, and high conversion sales. You know, it's worth automa It's worth going for a bit of pain. Like I'm going through a lot of pain right now with uh, running some uh, some advertising campaigns, trying to track all the variances that that, that you know that you you can possibly have. Um, and and I'm asking these experts, uh, how do you guys track this stuff to the to the letter? Like how do you track every single little nick and cranny or nook and cranny, whatever they call that thing? Um, and you know, not too many people actually know. So I'm I'm trying to figure it out myself now. I, I can only work on it for about two or three hours till I get a headache and, uh, and the next day I'll wake up and, and have another go at trying to figure it out. And why I put myself through the pain is because it's worth actually doing. So um, what you want to do is just set up a live webinar at first, run a few live ones. That's going to be the easiest way for you if you've never done it before. And then mm -hmm. simply just record them and then send the replays out to your database. That's how I'd get started. And in my first webinar, I set up a practice webinar, invited a few friends, I just talked about real estate and just did it for fun, really. And then yeah. the next week, I ran my first real webinar, and I only had 15 people on the call, and I generated two sales at $300, which was $600 in sales um, as a result of a one-hour webinar. So that in Mar that was in December 2008, and and uh, that was a an awesome day because from sitting down just talking for an hour, I made $600. I was I was pretty ecstatic. That's all right. So you recommend people to start off by going to go to webinar, sign up for the. I believe they do a free trial as well, and then um, practice on your friends. Invite your friends down to have a quick discussion over something that you feel passionate about, and get used to presenting. And that way, then you can go on, move on from there to the um, to the real live, a proper live event without any trouble. Then. Yeah, exactly, mate. That's exactly right, yeah. What are the top three secrets that someone should know in order to be successful in conducting webinars? Yeah, um, well, top three things I would say is that, you know, first of all, you've got to deliver great information. I mean, 
you know, you, you've got the uh, you've got to respect the people who are coming to the webinar because their time is very valuable. Um, you know, this is this one of the reasons that webinars are so powerful is that you've got the you've got the attendee coming to you. It's it's unlike any other form of marketing because normally marketing is going out to them. Like you know, yeah. uh, face to face selling normally is done when you go and visit the uh, visit the uh, prospect at their work place of work or something like that. That's done face to face, and uh, normally involves you going around to their business, you know, representing your company or whatever. Um, the other thing is the telephone. When you normally phone and you cold call or you call customers, you're, you're encroaching on their time. And with a webinar, they're giving you they're giving you their time. So and they, they, they've blocked out an hour or an hour and a half because that's what you've uh, sent the invitation as an hour webinar or an hour and a half. And what you want to do is deliver really great value. So no matter what happens at the end, that transaction um, will be a positive one for the attendee. And you know, people might buy, like a large percentage of people, or larger percentage of people purchase from webinars, like 10%, 20%, 30% conversions. But for the people that don't buy, they walk away with a great taste in their mouth at the end of the webinar because you know, webinars is pretty much here to stay and it's a phenomenal way to sell. If you don't deliver great value on your webinar, uh, then you, you've got no chance of getting them back again because, you know, you wasted their time last time. So I always teach, whatever you're talking about, give generously. Um, that's what I mean with value. When I say deliver value, I'm saying share tips and hints and strategies and case studies and stories and statistics and uh, yeah. really give great value to the person who's attending the webinar. This will... This will excite them, it will arouse interest, it will paint a picture in their mind. They will start to see possibilities of how what you're talking about can work for them. And they'll in turn, some of them will, uh, will, will reciprocate by purchasing then and there and others will, will thank you and, and, and maybe come and purchase you know, your product later or purchase another product on another webinar that you promote later on. So give generously, give lots of value and that's tip number one when you're doing a webinar. So many people try and yeah. sell, 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 but people do not like to be sold to, but they like to buy. And the best way to make people buy is to live, deliver lots of powerful, great information to back up your point and then make a great offer at the end. So that's that's probably going to take us to point number two, which is make an irresistible offer. Okay, so if you if you want to know the success of webinars, it's delivering great value, great content, great information and then backing it up with a great offer, okay? Not a good offer, okay, a great offer, all right? So mm -hmm. what I say by great offer, an irresistible offer. So you've presented your, 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 your information, your value, you've told them all about it, now you want to present an offer that makes, it's too good to refuse. You know, like they say in The Godfather, I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> um, so yeah. basically that's what you want to do. You want to go to bed at night thinking about what would make, what would make this offer so irresistible that every single person on the webinar would have to click on the button and buy? What, what, would, what would we need to do? Would we need to lower the price? Would we need to add a guarantee? Would we need to add an extra bonus like a like a one-on-one -on -one consulting session? Would we need to add email support? Can we bundle uh, three of our usual packages for this price? Can we bundle them all for one, one low price? Can we make it free shipping? Can, what, what can we do to make the offer irresistible? And that's really the next thing because at the end of the day, the, the, one of the biggest uh, reasons that you will not make money on a webinar is that you didn't deliver enough content, you didn't deliver enough valuable information, or you didn't deliver an irresistible offer. Okay, so really if you don't make money, it's one of those two things okay, that, you, yeah. uh, that you didn't. And, and the third thing that I'll say is make sure that you're Make sure that your presentation and your package, your offer, your product, your service, whatever it is, make sure that the presentation and that, that product, make sure that they are, uh, they are like relevant to each other. Okay? And uh, what do I mean by that? Oh, it sounds stupid. I mean, you, you're sitting there going, oh, of course, you know, well, you know, as if it wouldn't be. But you know, many people I've seen on a webinar, uh, Stuart, they've, they've, they're basically what they do is they, they present the webinar, they talk about one topic, and then at the end they offer something that is, that is you know, way off, way off the beaten track for what they've just talked about. Or I think, oh, well, that wasn't the solution that I was looking for because the product at the end of a webinar should really be the solution to the problems in the presentation um, or the answer, you know. So 
That's the third thing. Make sure that there's a connection between your presentation and your package of what you're offering at the end. So it makes it, it's like a, a no-brainer. People just go, yeah. I was on a webinar yesterday, for example. I was watching the webinar. I looked at my friend and I said to him, I bet you 50 bucks I buy the product at the end of this because I'm liking it so far. And <laughs> the reason I bought it is because the guy showed the presentation he showed a simple, easy-to-follow system, and then he said, here, I've got the system already. It's $1,000. It's got all the templates, all the videos, all this, all that. You know, I probably won't even watch it all, but I, I sat there, grabbed my Visa card, and spent $1,000 on a webinar yesterday because he delivered a great presentation with some great case studies, some statistics, some facts. It made sense, and then he made an offer, which made that presentation push button. It made it easy because he's giving me all the information, templates, and all that. So... You know, that's all you need to do to make money on a webinar. And uh, I think I've spent about 30 grand in webinars in the last three months myself. So, you know, it's a, it's a very, very powerful business model and, and, and you know, one that you, you really can't beat it when it comes to uh, selling. This is the big thing, selling on the Internet because anyone can get traffic, anyone can get visitors, but can you get sales? And that's what a webinar does. You know, a lot of people talk about online video and I love online video. And webinar yeah. is online video, but webinars really is the highest converting tool on the internet. And all of the biggest internet marketers in the world, they're now using webinars. And I've been talking about it for just just virtually longer than anybody else out there. Yeah. So in 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 a nutshell, you recommend that when you when you start out doing webinars, make sure you over deliver on the content. You know, by providing more than what people expect. And if you do have a have a product, make sure it's relevant to what the webinar is about. You know, if you're doing a webinar on snoring, don't offer them a package on weight loss. And make sure that when you do offer, it's something that they want to grab and get. You know, your content, I gather the product is answering their questions. It's something that they have to have because you sold them on it with your over-delivering and that the the e-book or the audio that you're asking them to buy answers all their questions and it's a no-brainer. You are offering something that nobody else is offering. That's exactly right, mate. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you got it. You probably just said that uh, a lot faster and a lot easier. You could edit this interview out and just you just say that.